hi everyone so i'm back with another challenge in this challenge you have to create a function which will take two parameters the first parameter will be a string the second parameter will be a number so when i will call that function with a string hello world and a number three it should repeat that string three times and return it so pause this video try it on your own then resume this video and compare your approach with my approach so let's get started so function will be repeat string so it will take two parameters and we'll call this function here with hello world and we want to repeat it three times uh, just to make it more readable uh, make it like this great now there is a function in es6 that is repeat so message dot repeat you want to repeat it three times so basically we'll take this parameter times here and put it here now save it open this file in the browser and this is the output everything so far looks good but in case if I'll pass some negative number here, that will be a trouble. Just save it and you can see we're getting invalid count value. In such a scenario, we can put a condition here, condition like this, times greater than zero, then we'll return it. Otherwise, we'll return an empty string that's it now save it you can see we're not getting anything here if I'll make it three or four then I'll get that string the another way of handling these negative numbers is to convert them into a positive number so we can make use of absolute function here like this so times math Sorry for this, it should be caps absolute times. So if it is a negative number, it will be converted into a positive number. Now we don't need this condition. Just simply remove this and this part. And if I'll pass three, I'll get this output. If I'll pass negative three, or just make it negative four, just for the change save it you'll get this output so basically it's converting this minus 4 into a positive number just console log here the times save it and this is the output so it's your choice you want to go with the condition and return an empty string or you want to just simply convert a negative number into a positive number using this absolute function I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.